What's up you guys? It's King Brittany Chanel and you're back on my Say Brittany Chanel channel. In today's video, I'm going to be making an impossible whopper my way at home the homemade way i'm going to show you all how to do it so if you like these sort of videos definitely make sure you thumbs up my video like comment and subscribe hit your notification bell so that you're notified every time i release a new video and let's get started So I did make a Whopper copycat video, so definitely make sure you check that out. But in this video, we're going to be making an impossible Whopper copycat because some of you all requested it on that video. So that's what I decided to do. Let's check out our ingredients. So this is the first main ingredient. We're going to be using the Garden Ultimate Plant Based Burger. So this is what it looks like, okay? It's no soy ingredients and no dairy ingredients. So this is gonna be really good, guys. We have our cheeses, tomatoes, onions, our seasonings, our burger buns, and we have different, you know, sauces and condiments, pickles and that sort of stuff. So let's get started on our first step. All right, you all, so we have our burgers in the pan. I'm gonna season them while they're in here a little bit different by, um, from how I do meat burgers. I got some twisted there, but this is plant-based, so I'm gonna go ahead and season this while it's going. I don't know how, you know, this is gonna taste, so I'm gonna be taste testing this also. cook you guys it says on the packaging to cook thoroughly so that's what I'm gonna do cook it thoroughly and then I'm gonna come back to you all right you all so here they are I've added a little bit of Worcestershire sauce to it and they're just simmering in the pan so so far so good it's looking really good right now look at that sizzle like ah oh, wish you could smell this guys all right, you all, look at how we are looking so far. This is looking good. I, I almost forgot this is a plant-based uh, burger. Our Impossible Whopper copycat is about to be better, y'all, than Burger King. You know, just like our Whopper was better than the Burger King Whopper. But look at how good this is looking, y'all. Can y'all, like, I wish y'all could smell that. Do y'all do y'all see how good that's looking? Y'all wouldn't even know this ain't even um a burger beef. This is so, this is looking good, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna have to come back to y'all in a minute. All right, guys, I'm gonna have my brother taste test this burger, but here's the clicker. He doesn't know that this is not a real beef burger, so he's gonna be the taste tester to see if this is just as good, you guys, as my Whopper copycat, okay? So remember, he does not know that this is not beef. <laughs> all right, you all, so I sat our condiments out here. We have a little tomatoes, our nice pickles, onions, lettuce, and then we also have our, you know, our ketchup and mayo racha. And so also check out how our plant-based burgers are looking. They are looking awesome, y'all. Look at how brown and how they just look so juicy. Can y'all can y'all feel that these are gonna be it when it's time to eat? And then I got my buns toasting because remember we toast our bread so that the sandwich or the burger is not gonna be soggy. So this is where we are so far. And we are about to set up the presentation to eat. And we're about to get uh, the response from our taste tester. We're okay, gonna get your <laughs> cheese to melt kind of fast. We're gonna pour a little bit of water in here so it starts to steam. And then you're gonna go like this so that the cheese begins to melt. This is a way to get your cheese to melt so that you can get your burgers out to your people. I'm just gonna put my mayo at the bottom of the burger. Put a little ketchup. Cause this is how, you know, the person who I'm making it for likes it. All right. 
and we're gonna start to get our stuff ready. So I need a spatula. We're just gonna add four pickles. And then I'm gonna add the rest of the stuff, like the tomatoes, the onions, and the lettuce in the top bun. This is about to be so yummy. Remember y'all what we talked about. All right, y'all, let's get to eating. All right, so we get ready to taste test this burger. All right, this is looking good, y'all. This right. is This is fitting. Especially with that male rocker. And it's cold and pickles. Mm -hmm. This is good, y'all. This is a five star. Most definitely. This is what the meat looks like on the inside, guys. All right, so what do the burger taste like? Do it taste like a plant-based burger? Nah, not really. Like, it honestly, it just tastes like a regular burger. Uh, I guess like when you first bite into it, you kind of could tell, but after that, it's pretty much the same. Look at this. 10 stars y'all, two thumbs on, two thumbs up, 10 stars all across the board. Definitely. This was good. Definitely. Y'all definitely, stars. if you are a person that eat, you know, meatless type of stuff, this is something that you should try. And there you have it folks. This is my interpretation of an impossible Whopper. If you like these sort of videos, like I said, thumbs up the video, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all soon on the next video.